So, first of all, thanks for joining this video. It's awesome for your support. Thank you. So, uh, this is the first video I made uh, about the dashboard uh, from the Volkswagen Polo 6R. And um, nowadays I had uh, I have connected it to the Arduino and it works yes properly well. Uh, here you can see um, the, uh, the, the the speed needle is uh, jumping around and here it's stable. Um, and at this time I want to show you it's it's just awesome. Uh, I want to show you the connection between um, Euro Truck Simulator and the dashboard. You can see in the upper le uh, upper right side the uh, dash cam here uh, with the dashboard. Uh, yes, in focus. And um, yes, I will start a new uh, campaign on or a new um, your drive on uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, yes. So I will choose. Uh, I think yeah, something between Cologne and Düsseldorf. Uh, yeah. Check. Uh, yeah, click. Okay. So uh, while it's loading, yes, you can see it's uh, with the head-on um, going east with the DLC. So and we are in a DAF truck. So let's check if everything works properly. So uh, we have to turn on our engine now. Huh? Just look around a little bit. Uh, yes. So and we see. We see that the, um, the tachometer with the RPM showing uh, is going up, and uh, yes, it works. So um, the connection between ETS2 and this dashboard is uh, yes going well. So let's drive a little bit around and yes, yeah, so look a little bit around uh, on the dashboard. Uh, so you can see that the uh, oil pressure lamp is blinking. It's just because uh, I didn't figure out yet um, what address it is to turn it off. So um, it blinks because it uh, doesn't get a response from the Arduino. So you can see a left uh, turning light and right turning light is working as well. And yes, the warning lights. Okay, so let's drive a little bit around. It's ah, just awesome to drive it <laughs> uh, with it. And I hope um, that you find it awesome as well. Because uh, I saw on Hackaday have a oh, much of, of uh, likes and views. Uh, about 5,600, I think. Yeah. So you can see that the uh, turning lights are blinking um, sometimes. I don't know why it is. Uh, I think it's uh, something like um, yes, too too much uh, comments at once uh, with the canvas, but I'm not sure. So let's drive left. See what's there. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Wrong side. It's blocked, of course. Okay, turn around, drive right. Uh, yes. Drive, drive, drive. Okay, so uh, maybe you saw that the uh, values of the RPM meter uh, aren't, yes, uh, aren't really equal to those shown in ETS2. Um, it's because they actually don't. Yes, really transmit the um, RPM data, but they um, or the script of uh, Silas Parker, who uh, yes managed to build his own dashboard with uh, out of a car box. Um, yeah. Okay, so ah yeah, here you can see the um, screenshot from uh, Hackaday. If you likes, yes, 5,600, 20 followers. Thank you so much for your scars and for your follow uh, followers. It's just great for your support. And uh, just if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me uh, with a comment in on YouTube or on Hackaday or just try to, <laughs> to uh, answer some questions. Okay. 
So, thank you for watching. Uh, this is our channel, uh, Sight and Gaff Gaming. It's a German gaming channel. If you want to join it, just uh, click on those links. Yes, and maybe I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you liked it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so see you then. Thank you so much. <laughs>